an incredible charity challenge by a man wanting to raise money in memory of his sister. Alan Creedon from Manchester walked more than 350 miles and kayaked 60 miles across the Irish Sea. Yeah, we'll chat to Alan in a moment, but first, here's our correspondent Rob Smith on that amazing journey. One kayak, 22 hours of paddling, 60 miles of open water. Holy head is over there, but you'll be able to see it in this. Alan Creedon crossed the Irish Sea on an epic fundraising adventure, all in memory of his sister Aoife, who died in 2011 after living with severe cerebral palsy. I'm about to set off on my walk from Manchester to Dingo for charity. The 410-mile journey saw him trek across Cheshire and North Wales before the sea crossing. After that, he hobbled much of the way across Ireland with a stress fracture in his foot. On my way from Salins to Edenderry. Alan took a month to reach his destination, raising more than £20,000 for good causes, as well as honouring his sister and her struggle. Rob Smith, ITV News. And Alan joins us now. Alan, thanks very much for joining us today. Across land and across sea. Let's talk about the land bit first. So you set off from your house in Manchester and went, right, I'm walking there. Yeah, Just like that. Yeah, well, I kind of thought that's sort of the easiest way to do it, really. I don't have to, you know, fly out to France and walk across the Alps. I'll just leave my front door and end up at my parents' front door. And before you set off, how fit a man would you say you were? Fitter than I've been for a while. I had done some training, so and uh, I'd, I'd actually I was training six days a week on the, pa the last few weeks on the run up to it, so I was fairly fit. It was an incredible challenge, though, Alan. Uh, tell me about your sister and the motivation. What made you do it? Yeah, well, uh, Aoife had very severe cerebral palsy. Uh, she was born with it. Uh, There's a, I suppose, a sadness in my family. Uh, w when it came to Aoife's life and what, what the potential of her life could have been, I guess. And I think I carried a lot of that with me. Uh, but uh, I sort of thought I had the idea to do the walk and I thought I could do it in her memory and uh, work it out as I go. And did it, help to, did it help with the grieving process to do that? Yeah, definitely. Um, because I was also fundraising for disability and mental health charities, it kind of helped me to focus myself because I was I did a social media campaign as I went so I was always focusing on the fundraising and things like that and that all then that in turn focused me on the disability side and made me think about Aoife quite a lot. So what a great impact she's had on your life. I know amazing yeah well it, this is it if it wasn't for Aoife I wouldn't be uh, heading off on big adventures definitely. What are some of the hardest parts of the adventure? You were telling us earlier that you had um, terrible terrible blisters within a matter of days. Yeah, day two. <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> some people would say I had the wrong footwear, but, uh, you know, who knows. Um, but, yeah, I had some fairly severe blisters, which I just had to get on and get through, uh, even though I thought that I was going to give up at one point, definitely. And what about the kayaking? How difficult was that? How much kayaking had you done before? Oh, uh, twice. I've been in a kayak twice, so, you know, that's loads of practice. Not really, but... So I had, uh, yeah, I basically put a, I put a message out to a, uh, to a lot of um, forums and things to see if I could get, find a way to get across. And uh, my friend Mike got, a, got back to me with, a, with an offer of uh, going across in a double kayak. I was astounded <laughs> to hear that you weren't even a very confident swimmer. Yeah. Again, I kind of thought, you know, I can, I can just go for this. We're, we're not going to capsize. It's going to be fine. And anyway, if you fall out of a kayak, we, we had flotation devices. But then you come face to face with a whale on the trip. Yeah. Well. <laughs> You're thinking, you go straight to Jaws, don't you? It's like <laughs> it's cir circling Even the kayak. Even though it's a whale as opposed to a shark, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's kind of going circling the kayak. It's going to like flip us out and just munch us or something. But that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you have any more adventures planned? Have you now got the bug? Are you going to do something else? I, I will do more things. I don't have anything planned right now because it's not that long since I came back, but and I have been kind of convalescing slightly since. But I'm 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 picking it up again now, and I will be. I've been kind of uh, talking to Mike since, seeing if he's got anything up his sleeve. But yeah, I'm definitely going to find more adventures. I'm up for more stuff. Has it changed you? Yes, <laughs> it's made me. It's made me uh, feel a more confident, capable person. You know, kind of. 
in some ways, the person that I always thought I could be, you know. Um, and I think, um, yeah, I think I did carry a lot of weight around with me with my grieving over my sister and stuff. And I think the adventure, the walk and everything sort of helped me to clear that away and kind of see who I am. Okay, Alan, well done. Thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you. Thanks.